Okay, shut up, bye. Um, we have a cash high with customer complaint is da, 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 heating and operative on the near side, cold air only. So I don't know anything about cash guys. Um, um, don't do too many near sends. Um, or Peugeot's and Fords and Vauxhall's and all that sort of thing. I, I, I like my big Germans, but so this hot air, cold air, apparently. I've just brought it in. Never works well. Well, don't know anything about these systems, so let's see if we can figure it out. <laughs> Possibly because his vents are closed. Maybe I fixed it. Well, let's find out. This car has dual zone climate. Now, different vehicles operate differently with their dual zone. Some, obviously, you the driver's side and passenger side, or some will be the driver's side and the rear. Again, don't know anything about the system, but having a quick look in the rear would indicate that this does not have rear heating or rear aircon. So, this guy must control the passenger side. Um, yeah, that's as far as I've caught in the last 10 seconds. Right, so I've just given her a full system scan because um, I'm sure this must have a HVAC module. Well, I'd imagine it was, it's 2014. You know, it's got dual climate control. However, nothing comes up on the snap-on. Uh, it doesn't list uh, heating or HVAC at all. Um, so I'm going to try another tool. But one thing worth mentioning, I'll try and make a video if it happens. If you do a code scan, it will find all the modules it finds. But if... You, and I've been caught out by this before. Sometimes if a module's gone down or has no feed, it won't obviously find that module. But you might forget to look for that module. Uh, you've got a car in with an odd fault and there's a module not working. You do a quick scan thing. Oh, no one's showing any faults because it's not reading that module. Um, it can be a bastard. So, I mean, on this, I wouldn't know what module it does and doesn't have, in all honesty, because, like I said, I don't know much about these things. Um, but... I've had Audis and stuff before with um, comfort modules not working and stuff like that. They do a full scan. It doesn't actually show any faults, but it doesn't read a comfort module unless you know to look for a comfort module and go in manually and realise, oh, it's not communicating. Anyway, back to the gay Nissan. Okay, so no use in this case because it doesn't have a H or it hasn't found a HVAC uh, control module. But one difference between the Snap-on and the Auto is the Snap-on found seven modules. The hotel found eight, which the additional one was the AVM, uh, which is the around view module for um, this thing has got little cameras on all the mirrors and the front and the back. Um, I'm sure it must have some sort of lane assist or anti-crash bollocks as well. Um, but yeah, so it is handy to have a selection of tools. Um, I do have some other gear. I'm not going to bother breaking out more stuff if I haven't found a HVAC with these two. Either it doesn't have one, or I'm not going to find it with any of my uh, equipment. Uh, so, onwards. So, according to my wiring diagrams, there is actually a HVAC ECU. Um, obviously, I don't have the software to communicate with it. And also, according to the wiring diagrams, there's independent mixer flaps for passengers and driver's side, which is obviously what these knobs control. So, I'm just pulling it apart to see if I can see anything obvious. Um, I've checked the, again, on the wire diagrams, checked the fusing and how it all operates. Uh, there's no direct fuses. These just can operate from its ECU, these mixer flaps. Um, yeah, but if I can't see anything obviously wrong, it's a bit of a pain when you can't communicate with the ECU, see if you can actuate them and stuff, but we'll see what we can do. See if we're getting signals to and from it. So I've my glove box off. And straight away, I've got two modules, that fella there, and that fella there that I can see. Don't know which it is, but I'd take a pretty good guess. It's probably this fella, where the plug has fallen out, could be <laughs> our problem. So let me plug him in. Um, right, he is now plugged back in. Now I have unplugged, because this thing, whatever the fuck it is, is glued to the top of the dashboard. Looks fairly important, so I may have to fling the dashboard back in before I can test it because I don't want to fire the ignition on with whatever that is off. Um, I could Google the part number and figure it out, um, but I don't want to. 
Alright, so I've loosely lashed the glove box in just to see what's going on. Got the fans on, it's pretty freezing. Uh, so that one's set to high. The car's still cold, but the air is warmish. That one's set to low. Freezing cold like it was earlier. High. Oh, there we go. It's now as warm as that side, and I'm sure as the car warms up, we'll um, um, have hot air, obviously. Now, quickly, let's have a look up there and just see how easy these things are to kick off with your feet. I'm assuming the passengers just kick this off. I'll grab a torch. Uh, not that easy, to be fair. Maybe it was a wicked witch or something with curly shoes. Anyway, well, that was an easy fix. No fun in that one. So I'm sat here in a lovely, toasty and warm cash car now, all fixed. Um, but I'm not overly happy, not with the repair, obviously. It's a nice, quick, easy fix. Customers gonna be happy, it's not gonna cost them very much. And it's done. However, as I've shown, it can't have been knocked off with someone's foot. Um, and I tested the, can the plug connector stuff. It has a nice firm grip. It has a positive click into place. It doesn't easily come off. So all I can assume is someone was being a bit rough when they did a pollen filter change or something, or unplugged it to move something out of the way. Previous work, that sort of thing. Um, but I can't prove that. That's an assumption. There's always like that doubt in your mind. Is it going to come back in a couple of months? And that thing will have fallen off again. Even though I know it has a good grip. I know someone can't kick it off. Um, yeah, so it's fixed, but there's no sense of satisfaction in that one. Anyway, this might help someone, it might not.